Hello everyone! Pag-usapan natin ang basic rules of differentiation. Kung sa last video ay nag-usap tayo kung paano i-compute yung derivatives using its formula, dito naman iba't ibang rules or theorems yung pag-aaralan natin para mas mapadali yung pagkuha natin ng derivatives. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started! First, among all the rules na ating itatalakay ay yung derivative of a constant. Kung meron tayong function na equal lang sa c, wherein c ay kahit anong constant, then its derivative is 0. For example, we get the derivative of f of x equals 7. Automatic dahil 7 lang yan, its f prime of x is 0. Next, we have f of x equals negative 9. Ang derivative nito na dy over dx. Recall na ito ay another way of writing f prime of x. This is already 0. Next, ay yung tinatawag natin na derivative of a power. Ginagawa naman ito if yung function natin ay isang variable na nakarace sa isang exponent. At yung exponent natin hindi daw pwedeng maging 0. Then, its derivative is f prime of x equals n x raised to n minus 1. So, ang rule dito or ang sinasabi ng number 2 ay yung ating exponent ibababa lang daw natin as coefficient ng x tapos babawasan natin ng isa yung exponent na yun. Parang ganito. Kung meron tayong f of x na x raised to 7, yung 7 na to magiging multiplier ng x. Magiging 7x. And then the numerator is 7 minus 1. Or in other words, the derivative of x to the 7 is 7x to the 6. Kung meron naman tayong ganito, f of x. Now recall that this f of x is... 1 over x to the 10, or kung gagamitin natin yung loss of exponents, this is x raised to negative 10. So, its derivative is, ibababa mo lang itong exponent, negative 10. Yung x, and then negative 10, maminusan mo ng 1. This will be negative 10 x, negative 10 minus 1 is negative 11. And ibalik mo ulit siya sa fractional notation. Dapat yung final answer natin, walang negative sa exponent. So, this will be x to the 11, tapos ito 10, and then yung negative sign niya gawing sign ng buong fraction. So, we have negative of 10 over x raised to 11. Yan yung kanyang derivative using the derivative of a power. Third is a derivative of a constant multiple. So, ang ginagawa naman dito, kung meron kang isang multiplier c sa isang function, kumbaga, i-disregard mo muna yung c, tapos kukuhanin mo lang yung derivative ng f of x. Tapos, tsaka mo i-multiply yung sagot doon sa c. For example, meron tayong 10x to the 6. Alam naman natin na yung x to the 6 Ang gagawin sa 6 ay ibababa yung x kokopyahin, tapos yung 6, 6 minus 1. Pero dahil may 10, itong buong to ay mamumultiply sa 10. So basically, yung kanyang multiplier dito at yung exponent sa original given, mamumultiply lang sa isa't isa. So f prime of x will be 60 x to the 5th. Next, paano naman kung meron tayong square root? Recall that f of x, which is 8, square root of x, this is 8, x, and then recall that square root can be written as an exponent of 1 half. So, ang f prime natin is equal to 8 times, ibababa natin yung exponent na 1 half, and then x, and then yung 1 half, ma-minus na natin ng 1. I-multiply natin yung 8 at yung 1 half. 8 times 1 half is 8 over 2, 
and 8 over 2 is 4. Next, we have x, 1 half minus 1, this is negative 1 half. And tulad nung ginawa natin sa previous slide, kapag may negative na exponent, ibababa natin siya. Para maging positive na. And finally, yung ating exponential notation na x raised to 1 half, ibalik lang natin sa pagka-square root. So, the final answer for its derivative is 4 over square root of x. For now, tatanggapin natin to. Hindi na natin kailangang i-rationalize. Kahit may square root yung denominator, let's accept it for now. Next, let's go to the fourth rule. We have the derivative of sum and difference. Ibig sabihin naman ito, kung meron kang dalawang function na magka-add or magka-subtract, separately natin kukunin yung kanilang derivative. For example, meron tayong x to the 6 minus 4x to the 4th plus x cubed. So, it's dy over dx is equal to derivative muna ng first. So, yung 6 magiging multiplier, x raised to 6 minus 1. Next, minus 4. Ang derivative ng x to the 4th, yung 4, bababa, x raised to 4 minus 1. And finally, we have plus 3, x, 3 minus 1. And then, let's simplify. The derivative is 6x to the 5th minus 4 times 4, that's 16. x to the 3rd plus 3x squared. Ninth example, meron tayong 8x to the 8 minus x to the 11 over 11. So, 8 times the derivative of x to the 8 is 8x raised to 8 minus 1. Minus, itong x to the 11, titingnan natin ito as 1 over 11 times x to the 11. So, in other words, ilalabas muna natin yung 1 over 11 na denominator, tapos kuhanin natin yung derivative ng x to the 11. So, x to the 11, 11 ay magiging multiplier, x, and then 11 minus 1. Let's simplify now. 8 times 8, we have 64, x raised to 7. And then, 1 over 11 times 11, this will be divided. Magiging 1 na lang sila. And this is just x. 11 minus 1, that's 10. And that is already your derivative. We have 64, x to the 7, minus x to the 10. Let's have this additional example. So, for example number 10, this is also one of the examples na diniscuss natin sa previous video. Gamitan natin siya ng rules and differentiation and tingnan natin kung pareho lang ba yung magiging answer. So, let's have the der derivative of 2x squared plus x plus 11. So, itong 2, pwede muna natin i-factor out. Derivative ng x squared, si 2 na exponent bababa, x raised to 2 minus 1. And then, we have here yung kanyang exponent na 1, so which is 1, x raised to 1 minus 1. And then, we know that derivative of the constant 11 is 0. So, this will be 4x raised to the first power na. And then, itong 1 minus 1, this will be x raised to 0. And we know that x raised to 0 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So, ito na yung ating derivative for example number 10. And kung maaalala ninyo, this is just the same answer kung gagamitin natin yung formula ng derivative na may limit. Next, for number 11, we have f of x equals negative 5x cubed plus 3 over x cubed minus 7x. So, kuhanin natin yung kanyang derivative. 
Dun sa first term, tanggalin muna natin si negative 5. And then, this is 3. X raised to 3 minus 1. For the second term, which is 3 over x cubed, let's think of it as 3, tapos yung x cubed ay x raised to negative 3. Ka dahil nasa denominator siya. So in that way, we can see that its derivative ay 3, tapos the exponent is negative 3, x raised to negative 3 minus 1. And then, minus 7, yung exponent ng x ay 1 lang. So, times 1x, 1 minus 1. Simplify ngayon natin, we have negative 15x squared. And then, 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. x raised to negative 3 minus 1, that's negative 4. Minus 7, uh, 1 minus 1 is 0, and we know that x raised to 0 is just 1. Next, hindi pa to considered na simplified form dahil meron pa tayong exponent na negative. So, ibaba lang natin siya. Gawin natin siyang denominator ng 9. At ito na yung ating derivative ng f of x. For the last example, involve tayo ng square root at cube root. Para mas madali, kapag given tayo ng square root or cube root, gawin muna natin itong exponential form nila. So, i-rewrite natin yung given as yung x na naka-square root, alam natin na yan ay x raised to 1 half all over 2 plus 3. Tapos, itong cube root of x squared, we know that that is equal to x 2 over 3. In that way, mas madali nating ma-apply yung rules of differentiation. So, its derivative is equal to, again, ifa-factor out muna natin itong kanyang denominator na 2. So, 1 half. Tapos, Si x raised to 1 half, yung 1 half niya bababa. x raised to 1 half minus 1. Next, itong 3 plus 3. And then, for the derivative of this expression, yung 2 thirds bababa. x raised to 2 thirds minus 1. So, simplify ngayon natin, 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth. X. 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. Plus, 3 times 2 over 3, magiging 6 over 3. X raised to 2 thirds minus 1 is negative 1 third. And then, let's simplify further. So, we have for the first expression, yung x raised to negative 1 half, pwede nating isama na sa 4 para pareho silang denominator at matanggal na rin yung negative sa 1 half. So, this is 1 over 4x to raised to 1 half. Plus, 6 over 3, that is just 2. Tapos, yung x raised to 1 third, gawin nating denominator niya para x raised to positive 1 third na. And finally, dahil yung ating given ay naka-square root, dapat itong mga 1 half and 1 third, maibalik natin siya in terms of square root. So, dito ang may square root lang ay yung x kasi siya lang yung naka-1 half na exponent. So, this is 4 square root of x. Plus, 2 over, ito dahil 1 third, it's cube root of x. And for now, accept natin ito kahit hindi natin muna kuhanan ng conjugate para matanggal yung square root sa denominator, we'll accept this. This is the derivative of example number 11.